So today, Kilpatrick's longtime pal, Jeff Beasley, sentenced to more than a decade in prison for his role in a Detroit pension scandal. Seven investigator Jim Kirchner is downtown with the last of the corruption cases from the days of the Kilpatrick administration. Former Detroit Treasurer Jeff Beasley sentenced for his role in a pay-for-play scheme with the Detroit pension funds. Even the judge, Nancy Edmonds here, noted that 30,000 Detroit retirees lost millions in their pension funds. Members of the Jeff Beasley family left court, not commenting, possibly stunned at the sentence. No cameras inside federal court where Jeff Beasley told the judge he never once extorted anybody or took a bribe. He said, quote, I should have asked more questions. I thought what I was doing was okay and above board. Beasley said he came to Detroit during then Mayor Kwame Kilpatrick's second term and was always under his shadow as a college roommate and frat brother. His defense attorney tried to separate Beasley from the much larger Kilpatrick corruption case, saying Beasley was not part of, quote, those people. Beasley was Kilpatrick's trustee on the city employee pension boards, and when people wanted pension investments, Beasley would direct them to make thousands in contributions to the Kilpatrick Civic Fund that turned out to be Kilpatrick's personal slush fund. Beasley testified during his three-month trial, but was convicted of two extortion charges and one bribery count. The evidence was $200 million in corrupt deals, $95 million in lost pension funds, and while still in dispute today, some $307,000 pocketed by Beasley. The judge did say Beasley came to Detroit, an honest good man who lost his sense of direction. Beasley has 30 days to show up to start his 11-year prison sentence. The former mayor, Kwame Kilpatrick, getting 28 years. Contractor Bobby Ferguson got 21 years. And there are five others still to be sentenced in this part of the corruption case. In downtown, Jim Kurtzner, 7 Action News.